I'm going to start with, I think, the most important question, which is, so you just worked with Quentin Tarantino, you now played Elvis, and you're going to be part of Masters of the Air. Have you thought about playing, like, the lottery? Or doing something because you, you know what I mean. Yeah. The gods are clearly shining down I, on you. Yeah, I gotta pinch myself every day. It's just, uh, yeah, I feel, I, 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 it's that thing where I, I can't believe that this is my life. Sometimes I feel so lucky. Well, I mean, the thing is, you've been, you've been in the business for a little while. Yeah. But this is like your first big, you know, being number one on the call sheet, being the, the, the center of attention. What surprised you actually about being? like playing the main role in a movie like this and being this, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I think, I think with this, it, and this is beyond the film for me, like this is, because it's, it's this, it's honoring a man's life and, and one who has been so misconstrued and his life has been so pulled out of context um, and all that his family's gone through and, um, and so, doing justice to them and uh, and him, that was so much pressure. And so, this has taught me a lot about how to manage that level of responsibility and the feeling of when you have moments of self-doubt, what do you do and, and all that kind of stuff, you know? I can't imagine, what was it like? A lot of, again, I've spoken to a lot of actors and they talk about when they rap on a movie, how it takes them a little while to decompress from the role. It's yeah. and on, on a role like this, which is Elvis. Yeah. How long did it take you to find like Austin again after <laughs> rapping? Yeah, I'm still, still looking. Um, <laughs> I, um, yeah, it was, it was really, I mean, I, a solid couple months before I really felt kind of some semblance of normal afterward. I. I I had never, um, I'd never done something in, in the way where I, I just completely, like, I just put my life aside. And it wasn't, I didn't see my family, I didn't see my friends, I didn't see anybody for the two years that I was filming the movie. And, uh, or working on it. And, um, so you kind of don't know what to do with yourself when you finish. It's, it's really strange. So you, you showed this movie. First of all, I want to say on camera how great you are in this movie. Thank you. Blown away by your performance. Um, you've shown this movie to a lot of critics, like in festivals. It's been, you've been traveling with it. But I know last night maybe was the most nervous for you showing it to your sister. Was that like, were you like legit scared to, to have her see it? Yeah, I, I was, to be honest, I was most scared to have Priscilla and Lisa Marie see it. That, that was when I was, I was, I was sweating. I was like really nervous because uh, they were they were at the core of everything for me. So once I knew how they felt about it, that relieved so much of the the stress that I had felt for so long. My sister, it was more. I was so grateful to get to share with her the thing that I like. I I, I told her you know last night. I'm I'm sorry that I disappeared for two years. You know because it's a it's a weird thing. And uh, so I'm learning how to balance that. But um, to get to finally share this thing with her that I had, had gone away and disappeared and, and, and done, you know, it was really special for me. On that note, I'm out of time. I'm just going to say a sincere congrats. You did such a great job, and I hope it's a huge hit for you guys.